Hey guys, welcome to Barside Job Live. I am DC and I am your host and you are Facebook and Live. This is uh, our August 2nd of 2018 episode and we are glad you're here. George Yawaki and Carol Burke and Shell Fox and Robert Washington and not only are we on Facebook Live but we are on Instagram Live. Facebook, Instagram and my beer. Hey, Julie. Hey, Debbie. No. I know. Sam. What's going on, Sam? So we are so glad you guys are here today. And uh, we are at Stroker's. It is Thursday, so we are at Stroker's Dallas in the Ice House with Teresa and Anna and all the good people here at the bar on both sides of me. It's at 9324 Harry Hines Boulevard, if you didn't know, in Dallas, Texas, just down the street from where Geno's used to be. One of Lena's favorite places. So come experience a burger here, a cheeseburger, or try out the Donald. It's like got like everything on it, even eggs and bacon. So try the Donald or and have a beer. Stroker's does have the coldest beer in town. I can attest to that. Now our show here is not just in 3D. It's in 4B, baby. 4B. And that would be beer bikes, bands, and your favorite, breaking news. Oh, I need to say uh, safe travels today to Rick and Lena Fairless. Um, they're headed to the 2018 Sturgis uh, rally uh, in um, Sturgis, South Dakota. Uh, ten, it's going to be t like 10 days total of 500,000 riders, concert goers, and street food enjoyers. So they attend that rally every year and this is 2018. It's located in the beautiful Black Hills. If you've never been, it's really close to Mount Rushmore. Crazy Horse, Devil's Tower, uh, Custer State Park is cool. If you haven't been to that part of the country, you gotta go. Even if you gotta do it in a car, it's worth the trip. So uh, some of the most scenic uh, in, in the country right there. So. Make a trip to uh, Sturgis, South Dakota. In fact, you probably won't even find Sir Sturgis normally unless uh, the rally is going on because uh, it really doesn't exist. So, you know, our show here, just to let you guys know, especially those that are first timers, we have an occasional conversation here about bikes and maybe hot rods and tequila a cigar, and Zeppelin, of course. Uh, some of my favorite things. But, uh, oh, and you, yeah, and your favorite thing, which is breaking news. But uh, this show is really all about music. Rock, country, jazz, blues, Christian. But not that hip-hop crap. We don't do no rap. No. But, uh... We, we talk about all sorts of stuff in the music industry, you know, whether you're a, a venue, a band, uh, someone that helps the bands. Uh, so, you know, bear in mind with that said, since it's all about music, usually we're not on time. And uh, it's kind of chaotic at times. But uh, we do make the show happen and we're here. So thank you guys for watching, sharing, liking, loving, doing all that stuff. We love to see those hearts go by, you know doing that crap and uh, we appreciate you guys very much this is like the we've had like four or five shows now over 10,000 views and we appreciate that the the, the bands appreciate it and uh, all of us appreciate as well your support so keep it up keep it up oh I'd like to also shout out to uh, my brothers down there in Cyprus my my chopper brothers in Cyprus uh, they're probably not. They're probably asleep right now, but uh, they they watch us, and uh, all my friends at Mary's Place up in Rockford, Illinois, uh, Bill and Becky and Jason and Rick, uh, even my buddy Randy. Thanks to all you guys, and uh, we appreciate you in Rockford, Illinois. You know we've got people watching us all over the freaking country now, Europe, all over the United States. to get messages all the time, so. I wish I could shout you out by name but and where you are, but I, I can't. Hey, Michael. Michael in Swaste is watching. Bobby, how you doing, Bobby? So, uh, 
I know you guys probably can't stand it. You, you're ready for this moment. I know you've looked forward to it since last Thursday. It's uh, time for DC's freaking breaking news. It's breaking, it's breaking, Teresa, because it just happened. But it's freaking because that's what Lena says. So, hey, Trey, what's going on, brother? Trey Garrity, my buddy Trey. So, we're going to get on into the news. You guys, I uh, know you've been looking forward to this. So, here we go. Morgue worker arrested after giving birth to a dead man's baby. Kansas City, Missouri, a 26-year-old morgue worker, another morgue worker, go figure, was arrested this morning after a DNA test revealed that her newborn baby was the result of a necrophiliac intercourse with a man she was supposed to autopsy. No kidding. Jennifer Burroughs, an assistant pathologist with Jackson County Medical Examiner Services, is accused of having sex with dozens of corpses over the course of the last two years, a behavior which led to the birth of a baby boy on January 7th. Where else can you get news like this? I mean, forget MSNBC, Fox, CNN, don't happen. Barside Job Live, this is where you get this stuff. That's why you got to tune in every Thursday at 1. According to the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department, her baby is the son of a man who died in a car accident in March of 2017 and whose body she was supposed to autopsy. They allege that Ms. Burroughs sexually abused more than 60 other dead bodies belonging to males aged from 17 to 71 years of age. Never too old. We opened an investigation into this case in October after we were informed that the suspect may have been sexually abusing corpses, Police Chief Forte told reporters. And of course, our Barside Jive Live reporter was there and heard it firsthand. We accumulate enough evidence, according to the Chief, over the last few months to obtain a warrant for a paternity test on her newborn son. It confirmed our suspicions that the father of the child was indeed a 57-year-old veterinarian from Texas, really, who was driving through the county when he had a fatal car accident. All the evidence we've gathered suggests that he had never met Ms. Burroughs before his demise and that he was already dead when the baby was conceived. The KCMO police chief, Darrell Forte, briefly commented Ms. Burroughs' arrest this morning during a press conference, calling it one of the most sordid cases he had ever seen in his entire career. There are currently no laws, state or federal, governing or explicitly outlawing the practice of necrophilia since the corpse is considered human remains and no longer living. Therefore, it is technically legal in the state of Missouri and Ms. Burroughs' actions are judged as an indecent treatment of a corpse. She is facing a total of 158 charges, including indecent treatment of a corpse, disorderly conduct, indecent exposure, and possession of illegal drugs. The psychologists and experts that we interviewed were divided in their interpretation of Ms. Burroughs' case. Uh, all seem to agree, however, that the 26-year-old woman was suffering from mental problems and that she will probably register a plea of insanity. This is where it's at, folks. Breaking news every Thursday at 1. You won't get the true stories that are going on in the world anywhere else but here. They won't talk about it, but man, I will. I will. All right, so moving on, Keith Keith and Diana. Hey, guys. Let's see what we got here in store for you. Oh, time for Stroker's Tea of the Week. Hey, man. We've got Stroker's Tea of the Week. $26.99 for this bad boy. $26.99 for this tea. You can get it right here in the store, next door to the ice house. So go in there. The white shirt's going to be cooler in the summer. So come get you a badass Rick Fairless Stroker's Tea. $26.99, folks. It's time for my dumbass of the week. And I've got a good one. You know how all these kids all these kids got the like challenge, you know, where they like get out of the car and you know, dance, you know, while the car's moving. It's what? Kiki? Peaky? Kinky? No. 
this, this isn't kinky in my book, that's for sure. I don't know what you call it. This is what they call kinky. It's not my definition of... Okay, here we go. So I don't know who's the. I don't know who the bigger dumbass was, the driver or the dude that we got out of the car. So. And it's time for our 60 seconds of rock and roll history. So legendary blues guitarist Buddy Guy celebrated his 82nd birthday this past Monday. You know, since we're not a daily show, we have to catch up. You know, Buddy Guy is worth catching up for. So Buddy is the mainstay of, a, of the Chicago blues and has influenced white blues rock musicians such as Eric Clapton, Jimmy Page, and Stevie Ray Vaughan. During the 60s, Guy was a member of Buddy Waters' band and was a house guitarist at Chess Records. Guy had a long musical partnership with harmonica player Junior Wells. Guy was ranked 30th in Rolling Stone Magazine's list of 100 greatest guitarists of all times. While Buddy was a house guitar player at Chess Records, the company didn't want to let him do any of his own records because they claimed it was just noise. Wow. So happy birthday, Mr. Guy. Happy happy uh, late birthday, belated birthday, Mr. Guy. And since I haven't used all my 60 seconds up, I want to say that August 2nd, which is today, has been an interesting day for Bob Dylan over the years. And you want to know why? Tisha, you want to know why? Teresa? It's because on that day in 1962, 8-2 of 62, Bob Dylan changed his name from Robert Zimmerman, Zimmerman to Bob Dylan. Then seven years later, in 1969, he went to his 10-year uh, high school reunion, you know, and that was in Hibbing High School, Minnesota. But he had to leave a little earlier than he planned because uh, a, a former classmate that was drunk picked a fight with him. Write that down in your annuals. August 2 of 62. So that was given to us by the College of Rock and Roll History, who actually got shut down by Facebook for 24 hours because they posted a photo of the Houses of the Holy album Led Zeppelin Houses of the Holy album with kids on the front cover. He posted, they posted that and they got shut down for 24 hours because of uh, new regulations. Wow. So, Daniel Flannery. God, Dan. It's been a long time, brother. I spent some time in the Middle East with old Dan. I'm glad to see you here, Dan. Miss you, brother. So, we've got some guests today. And uh, I call this segment our guest segment. I also call it half of a band segment because when you have a show at 1 o'clock on Thursdays, you usually don't get the whole band. So I call it like half a band segment. And our guest today is Cherry Bomb's Maddie Ferguson and Mike Knickerbocker. Now these guys, I got to spend some time with them on the stage at the Longhorn Ballroom during the Texas Jam Tribute Fest a while back. And they're really awesome people. In fact, the whole band. I mean, uh, you got Bill and Hammond, and you got uh, Nick, and they're all cool people. But uh, today we have Mike and Maddie with us. You know, Cherry Bomb is the Texas premier Joan Jet tribute. Teresa, look at Teresa. She's even modeling a Cherry Bomb shirt. How's that? They are the quintessential rock cover band besides being just a Joan Jet tribute band. And since January 2015, Cherry Bomb has blazed the rock and roll tra trail throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth area, wowing audiences with their high-energy performances and their incredible musicianship. And they have, like, note-perfect Joan Jett renditions. So, you know, like most bands, members come and go. Maddie and Mike started with the band back in 2015 and they're still with it today with the addition of Bill Hammond and 
I'm, and Nick Bailey. Nick plays uh, drums and Bill's on the bass. But those guys all make up Cherry Bomb, and they are here today. Right? Awesome. All right. So they're going to like play for us here in just one second, and I'm going to get out of the way. So you guys get ready for some. Now remember, they're shy of two members, but get ready for some Cherry Bomb. That's awesome. We're ready. Yeah, let's get close. One, two, three, four! Well, I don't give a damn of a reputation. Killing it in a past, a new generation. Sing it with us. And a girl can do what she wants to do, and that's what I'm gonna do. And I don't give a damn, I'm a bad, bad reputation. Oh no, 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 no. Not me. Me, 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 me. I don't give a damn, I'm a reputation. I never said I wanted to improve my station. And I'm only to improve when I'm having fun. And I don't have to please no one. And I don't give a damn, I'm a bad reputation. Oh no, 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 not me, 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 wow, no, 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 no. not me. Me, 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 I don't give a damn my reputation, I've never been afraid of any deviation, and I don't really care if you think I'm strange, I ain't gonna change, and I'm never gonna care my Bad reputation. Oh no, 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 no. that me. Me, 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 me. Wow, no, 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 no. not me. Fucking play it, Mike. I don't give a damn of a reputation. World's in trouble, there's no communication. And everyone will say what they want to say, and nobody's better anyway. So why should I care about a bad reputation? Anyway, oh no, 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 And I'm only doing good when I got no pain And that's all I'm gonna say Photobomb And I don't give a damn on the bad reputation Oh no, 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 no. Not me How hard is that? It's okay. strange. So, here, sit down, Maddie. So, these guys really didn't plan on playing, but I, I just had to convince them because, yeah. you know, I know it's hard, right? Like without bass and drums, right? And it's then PA and. Very different. Very different. <laughs> In the daytime. In the daytime, yeah, not at night, right. yeah. So, you guys were like freaking awesome, though. You you know, you, you have, I've been seeing you guys for some time now. In fact, I think the first time I caught you guys was like at Will Hoyt's. Yeah, it's, yeah. But it's been a while. It was, it, was, it was when, I don't know how long you've been playing there, but I hadn't seen you, and then all of a sudden I, I saw a show, and it was really good. And then, so I've kind of followed you ever since. But but when you guys took the stage of the Longhorn Ballroom, and what a badass feeling that must have been. It was, it was awesome. a lot of fun. Wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, all the history in that place. Right. The people that have played there. I know. I mean, the Sex Pistols. Yeah, I, I mean, know, right? Everybody, I mean, it's freaking, I mean, just, you know, the rock and roll stuff, and then all the country, oh, my God, that's played in that joint. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it was cool, and I got to hang out with you guys, and it was freaking awesome. So uh, I had to have you on the show, so I'm so glad you guys came. 
Finally, we made it. I know. And, you know, they played without freaking half their band and without a PA, and they still did it. <laughs> so I know you guys are probably going to beat me up after the show, but I had to, I had to make you do it. So uh, thank you. Oh, thank you for having us. Sure. Now, 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 you know, I can't let you get away. You know, we usually ask our guests a few questions, and they're really pretty thought-provoking. And, and uh, so, like, first of all, I want to know, I know the band got together in 2015, it was when it was formed, but how did you guys come together? Well, um, I saw an ad on Craigslist. Did you? Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And this was when we were Bad Reputation. Mm. And so they put out a set list or whatever, and I was like, I'm going to go try out for this band, and then I went there, and auditioned and it was all the music that I loved so I was super excited right and then I made the band and I was like woohoo awesome. I get to play Joe Jet awesome so, yeah. now now were you part of the Craigslist did you create the Craigslist ad okay yeah. so you're, you're kind of putting it Probably. together I, yeah I He's placed the ad and uh, we were just uh, when Maddie showed up we were really excited because you know she wasn't just yeah. this beautiful singer showing up to be part of the band just to uh, you know, <laughs> join something that was already gigging and maybe going to be successful. To be. Come on in. Come on and, in, Mike. Uh, yeah, there you go. The, the super coolest thing about it was that she really digs this music. She loves Joan Jett. And, right. Uh, she ain't just picking up a paycheck, uh -uh. people. No. She's got the look and she's got the voice. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Well, we, we love you guys and... and you know, it's interesting to find out kind of how people got together. That's kind of cool about the Craigslist thing. It's just a, just, just hey, it was meant to be, right? It was really random. I guess yeah. it was meant to be. And did you see the picture that I posted yesterday yeah. on Facebook? Like, yeah. I was obsessed with Joan Jett. I cut my hair like that and everything. So a few years down the line, you know, Craigslist ad, hey, I guess I'm going to join this band. And then I made it and I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> now, had, so had you, you were already a Joan Jett fan, but had you sang before? Yes. Okay. Were you in other bands? I was in one other band. We were called Skylight Love, and we did covers of more recent rock songs like Paramore and oh, stuff okay. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here in Dallas? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think we had like two gigs, and then we were like, we're done. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. We're over. Well, you know, you guys have been at this one a while, so yeah, yeah, good for you to stick it out and make this thing happen. And you know, it's like nowadays, you're playing some pretty big gigs. Yeah. You're really booking some good stuff. Yeah. So, crazy. congratulations. So, I guess you guys all get along really well? Yes. So, so who's the least liked member of the band? Would that be Bill? <laughs> no. It might be me. Mike? Yeah, it's probably Mike. Mike's the asshole. He's bossing us around. <laughs> he, is he? Yeah, he, Mike's the, Mike's the, the uh, asshole of the group. I feel like Nick's pretty shy and then... Bill was shy, but now he's come out of his shell a little bit more, yeah, and yeah. he makes jokes, and he's super Does funny. Does he? Yeah. That's a, the uh, the hilarious thing about this band. There are no natural rock stars. Everybody's an introvert. Yeah. Most part. Really? Yeah. I knew yeah. Bill was. It's It's been great uh, to watch everybody in this band basically, you know, for lack of a better word, blossom over the years. And, just uh, improve uh, performance-wise. I mean, it, it's so cool because we we haven't been static. We've been getting better and better. And even even now, you know, even even though we we've, we've had some great gigs, and right. feel like we've made huge progress like a year ago. Right. I look back and I think, man, we're we're better now than we were then. It's oh yeah. Just, it feels good that we're yeah. able to keep progressing. You know? Yeah. So right. Keep. We keep pushing to improve our performances and you know, connect with audiences and, and that sort of thing. And, uh, it's great because it feels like we are still getting better and we can even continue to get better. So right. It's, it's good stuff. We love it. Yeah, I remember when we first started, I'd just stand there like this. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the really yeah. surprising thing. Is like yeah, you're, people don't, you, know, you hear about this, you know, supposedly the, uh, the front person is really, really shy in normal life. And, uh, and 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 that is Maddie to a T. She is so quiet and I am. yeah, and being you know talking really loud. <laughs> Unless I've had a few drinks. <laughs> she's, she's kind of the anti David Lee Roth of uh, front persons. Right. But, uh, yeah. Right. She's gotten so much better and it just it, it's great. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's some good synergy between you guys uh, during the show. 
So it's, it's really good. We really like each other, yeah. gosh darn it. We yeah. do. Well, that's good. That's a good thing. That's why you're still together. So i got to ask you this, Maddie. George Jones or Led Zeppelin? Um, Led Zeppelin. Okay. Britney Spears or Led Zeppelin? Led Zeppelin. <laughs> How about you, Mike? Look at this. George Jones or Led Zeppelin? These are easy questions. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, really? Oh, looky here. Yeah. Wow, looky you here. You need to turn all the way around. There you go. Look right there. All right, Lena, take a look at that. <laughs> That's absolutely right. The Zozo. Absolutely. That's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, Mike, who's your favorite band? Oh, man, that's hard to say. Back in the day, I went through a hardcore rush period, probably. Oh, yeah. Uh, probably I, that ended shortly after Grace Under Pressure in their whole keyboard phase. Nowadays, man, uh, I'm maybe more old school than I used to be. I think ACDC probably. Really? Yeah. yeah. Just off the top of my yeah. head, ACDC and uh, Zeppelin is also great. Maybe just a slight edge to ACDC. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. And then Prince. Prince? Yeah. Big Prince fan? <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, uh, back in black, they, don't those guys do an awesome job of ACDC? They're amazing. They, they're amazing. They're, they're a great band, those yeah, guys, Mike and uh, yep. all. Yeah, they're all, they're super guys. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we're on Instagram, too. Hey, awesome. Instagram, I keep what? forgetting you're there. Yeah, we're on Instagram no. Live now, absolutely. Facebook so, and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram, same time, That's simultaneous action. Absolutely. Uh, totally worldwide. Yeah. So, uh, hey, do you Instagram folks, Maddie? Mike, sorry, I, I, you're lower than Facebook, so I forget about you, but uh, I need to fix that. So, who's the hottest female drummer in Dallas? Oh, I know. I knew you were going to ask him, what? <laughs> That's easy. easy Michelle questions. Graves. Michelle Graves? Okay. You know, I'm shocked that you would say that. I thought you were going to say April Sanders. <laughs> well, April too, but... I have to say Michelle. <laughs> hey, Michelle, we know you're watching. You were watching just for that particular question. I know. Did she Did she make that question? Uh, I, cannot, <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. I said, tell me something. I told, I told Michelle, I said, tell me something that will catch Maddie off guard, something that you know about, and she wouldn't do it. You know, you chicks protect each other. But she did say, she did say, throw that out there, who's the hottest female drummer in Dallas. And, you I know, got you. She knew that what the answer was going to be probably. So I wish yeah. you'd have said somebody else. I wish you'd have said April. <laughs> so, hey, Wally. Hey, so um, let's do one more question. Pet peeves. What's Mike's pet peeve? What's his pet peeve? Mm -hmm. A quirk. He's quirky. So what's his what's his quirk? I don't even know. You don't know one thing about him. That's kind of. I have no clue who he is. Like, oh really? No, just, oh, I, no, I mean. What's his What's his pet peeve? I don't know. He's a pretty chill guy. I can uh, tell you. Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> <laughs> this for the longest time now it's been it's been almost impossible for us to actually rehearse uh, True. we have True. we're all spread out around the metroplex mm -hmm. and uh, our bassist bill has been working nights for the longest time he's only off on fridays and saturdays so uh, okay we've actually added yeah. some new tunes to our set list periodically where everybody learns it on their own and it's just the night of the show is everybody ready and we go ahead and play right and it's it's really it's you nuts. Know, it's kind of crazy though how yeah. like we can pull it together and actually yeah. get through the songs without rehearsing them yeah right right yeah hey you pull this together without a pa and without a mic and without a band so hey if you can do this shit here you can do anything we can do it so so what's maddie's pet peeve her pet peeve what does maddie not like uh Oh, doing shows without a mic. Uh, <laughs> well, she never gets to do shows without me because, well, I gotta be there. I mean, right. You know, but uh, right. Now she, you know what? I, I mean, but just asking the question just reminds me that uh, again, once again, Maddie defies the stereotype of the lead singer. I mean, everybody refers anybody who's been in the music world for a while knows that uh, you know the, the rap on lead singers is that they're divas, right? Yeah, right. And Maddie is anything but a diva, and she has more right to be a diva than damn near anybody in this <laughs> scene for crying out loud because she's Joan Jett. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's right. gorgeous. She sings great. She plays guitar. Right. 
She has every right to be a diva, but she never is. She's just so wonderful. She's down to earth. <laughs> I'm too right. laid back. Yeah, yeah, you that's are. Right. Well, that's cool. That's Good cool. Good vibes all around. You know? So, you guys, any? You're adding some songs to your set list. I heard you say. Yes. So, what are you yeah. adding? We're gonna add uh, some Lita Ford, "Kiss Me Deadly." Oh, really? Awesome. We're uh, we're working on "Fake Friends" by Joan Jett. Okay. And then we're also. No more Joan. Uh, Joan covered the Mary Tyler Moore song, Love is All Around. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, so she did that, and we we did that a while ago, about a year before. We're relearning. We're bringing it okay, back. Okay, cool. It needs to be in the set list. Right. Uh, because we wanted we wanted to make sure we were doing enough Joan yeah. that right. we were actually truly paying tribute to her. Right. You know? Right. So, right. yes, yeah, so we got those, and once we get those nailed down, uh, we're going to look to adding some more stuff as well. Awesome. Awesome. So, you've got some shows coming up, or are we, we going to go see you? Uh, yeah, um, this Saturday we're playing at uh, Sundown at the Granada. That's the restaurant that is next door to the uh, Granada Theater. Okay, so cool. It's in Dallas. Awesome. Right. Uh, show starts at 11. Uh, great venue, great food. Oh, yeah. New venue for us, so we need everybody to come out and support us. Right next door to the Granada, so yeah. right there on uh, Greenville. Yes. yes. And and so when is that? Uh, that's this Saturday. This Saturday? Okay, this Saturday. I'll, be at the, I'll be at the Granada oh, for, for the, the uh, four, Big Four. That's yeah, the yeah. thing, is we're kind of the after party for that show. Oh, so yeah, once yeah. you finish up I'll come over. watching those four great bands, I'll come, over. come next door. I will. Yeah. I'll come over. What time do you start? 11 o'clock. Okay. 11 o'clock. All right, cool. All the week right. after that, we're at Will Hoyt's in Grapevine, uh, back-to-back Friday right. and Saturday. Okay, awesome, awesome. And if the, anybody wants to contact you guys, email, I mean, or, or web, how do they see yeah. your schedule? How do they get a hold of you? They want to book you? Right, right. Uh, the best way, the simplest way is just to find us on Facebook, and that's going to be, you want to look for Cherry Bomb Texas on okay. Facebook, okay? Yes. And, and the reason you gotta put the whole damn thing in there is for whatever reason, yeah. Facebook's algorithms hate us. If you put in just Cherry Bomb, you'll find everything related to Cherry Bomb except us in the, in the list. Okay. I mean, you'll find pages with like... Cherry Bomb cakes. Two, right. <laughs> you'll find, yeah, you'll find things like, you know, 200 Porn likes <laughs> as opposed to, we have more than, we have like 2,400 likes on our page now. And we're local, and so instead of finding us, it finds all this other bullshit, including like there's a Cherry Bomb band in Missouri. Yeah. Oh, wow. We've had venues like yeah. crop pictures from this Missouri band and put them up <laughs> saying, hey, get ready for Cherry Bomb. Oh, man, we'll, that sucks. We'll go look and we'll go, wait a minute. It's not That's even not us. 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 That is uh, not shit, us. That sucks. Anyways, no offense to the Cherry Bomb band uh, in, Missouri. in Missouri. I'm sure they're great, but... It ain't us. We just show up and they're so like, wow, you look really different. Yeah. <laughs> look, You're not look likely. For the sexy lady. If you yeah. see this sexy lady, you have found the right site. Awesome. Yeah, that's us. Very good, and very good. all the uh, the links, you know, the, the phone number and uh, my email address is there because, you know, uh, yeah, I, I do the booking for the band. So. Okay, cool, Mike. Or look for me, Mike Knickerbocker. So if you're a venue... Yeah. You want to book these guys? You right. know how to do it. If you're a fan, you hit them up on their Facebook at Cherry Bomb Texas. Right, exactly. Bomb Texas. And you guys said you wanted to play at least one more. Okay. And the funny thing is, Maggie hasn't even told me what what, we, what we're going to do next. You know, without <laughs> drums, without bass, and it's weird. It's like, I feel uh, it's like, like we should do our band name song. Oh, okay, sure. We'll see how that oh. sounds. Oh, ch 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 Yeah. Chug, 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 chug. Acoustic. Did we give it away? Yeah. Yeah, Kinda. It it's, all, it's all good. Okay. So, you want to play? Sure. You want to sing? Sure, yeah. Cool. All Let's right. do it. We'll try it. I'll get out of the way. Are we just going to sit here? I feel like it's better. Okay, cool. Absolutely. It's not kind of close. I'll start it. Yeah, normally, yeah. normally the drums would start this. Okay, so. Yeah. They can't stay at home, can't stay in school. Old folks say a poor little fool. Down the street, I'm a girl next door. What the fuck that you've been waiting for? Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mom. I'm your Cherry Bomb! Hello, world! I'm your wild girl! 
I'm your cherry bomb. Stone is love and sweet sound so Come on, baby, let me get into you. Bad nights, call it teenage blues. Get out now, cause you got nothing to lose. I said hello, daddy. Hello, mom. I'm your cherry bomb. Hello, world. I'm your wild girl. I'm your cherry bomb. Hey street boy, what's up style? You dead am dreams don't make you smile. Ah, you need something to live for. Have your crab your to your soul. Hello, daddy. Hello, mom. I'm your cheery bomb. Hello, world. I'm your wild girl. I'm your cheery bomb. Cheery bomb. Cherry bomb. Oh, yeah, it's really weird without the drums. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Appreciate that. Oh, thank you. Hey, we only got a little bit lost there at the end. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? It, this is a tough. Oh, this is a tough gig right here now. Let me tell you. I should have brought some drumsticks right. or something so I could be like. You should have. Hey, y'all, hang loose. Just hang right here. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna finish this up. Totally. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, we've got just a little bit more to go. I need to tell you guys some important stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, you found out that Cherry Bomb is going to be next door to the Granada at the... Sundown. Sun it's a restaurant. It's called okay. Sundown at the Granada. On Saturday. But while you're there in that area, make sure you check out... Okay. All right, Sam, this is for you, buddy. Um, the tribute to the Big Four at the Granada, uh, this, this this coming up, this August 4th, this uh, Saturday, starts at 7, I think the doors open at 7, and uh, be Motor Breath is doing, of course, Metallica Tribute, War Ensemble, Slayer, Euthanasia, Megadeth, and Among the Living Anthrax, tickets are at GranadaTheater.com, and you can, uh, maybe, if you're lucky, you can see some live, like, behind the scenes action, uh, coming to you direct from the Granada, uh, maybe during load in, maybe during setup, sound check, maybe even right before the show. So if you'll tune in to this Facebook page, uh, you can see some behind the scenes stuff on Saturday, and then you can walk next door when that's over and see Cherry Bomb. And then don't forget on Saturday, August 18th, which is coming up, Gas Monkey Live, Monsters of Rock, the tribute to the 30th anniversary for that big ass concert. That'll feature top tribute bands, uh, Van Halen by VHX, the Van Halen Experience, Scorpions, First Thing, Dawkin, Without Warning, uh, Kill 'em All, We'll Do Metallica, and Get It On, Kingdom Come. Tickets are available at Ticketfly or at the door. I think they're 15 at the door. So you guys don't forget to catch that show. Michael and Swaste in Jam Magazine is uh, kind of ramrodding that action. So get a hold of Michael if you need some help with that. Final notes. We love you, Michael. That's right. Michael's a good dude. He's great. New show coming up. New show every Friday at 1 o'clock. So you got new? Strokers, brand new. Wow. Strokers, 1 o'clock every Thursday. A new show at, on Fridays at 1, so 1 o'clock Thursday, 1 o'clock Friday. So if you miss the Thursday show, you can hit the Friday show, and it's at, you want to know? Should I keep it a secret? No, tell us. Mm, Let us know. Not like nobody else's. You want to tell us afterwards, will you? No. Okay. Mother Truckers. Mother, oh. Mother Truckers, 2110 oh. Northwest Highway in Dallas, uh, starting Friday, August 17th. 
Nice. Be there at 1 o'clock every Friday. So get ready for a show, not only on Thursday here, but at Mother Truckers on Fridays. So BarsideJiveLive.com, I'm sorry, BarsideJive.com is the window to everything Barside Jive. So yeah. sorry, you can link to our YouTube channel, our Twitter, our IG, Facebook, uh, my vocal show. You can get it all there at BarsideJive.com. My parting thought is... You know, nowadays our minds are like a freaking internet browser. It's like you got 19 tabs open and three of them aren't working and there's music coming from somewhere and you can't figure out where. So that's my parting thought. And our sponsors are Euchre Custom Pools. It's a full service pool company serving DFW homeowners since 1995. With experience in custom pool building and Remodeling your dream of a backyard pool can come true, either remodeling or a new build. From salt systems to chlorine custom pools, each pool is built to suit your needs. Now, they're at uckertpools.com. That's uckertpools.com. And you can tell we don't use a teleprompter here at Barside Shop Live. <laughs> so, I mean, who needs a teleprompter anyway? Also, if you need an apartment, Apartment Boy is the place to go. You can get, you can go it alone. You can download your apps. You can call the leasing offices. You can get unanswered phone calls and never get calls back. Or you can call Apartment Boy and get a licensed real estate agent to do all that for you. Saves you time and money, and it's a free service. So if you need an apartment in DFW, Austin, San Antonio, or Houston, just text, I need help, or just help. Just help to 972-400-8848, 972-400-8848. And before we go, we want to thank Tony at shockmycar.com. Thanks, Tony. He's our website guy. Our staff artist and record maker, Jonathan Kimbrell, classicwaxrecords.com. So you need a record made, a record cover made, see Jonathan. Classic Wax with three X's, dot com. And then our staff photographer, Shasta, she's on Facebook at Shasta D. Bella Photography. And our staff social media guru is Monica at P like Paul, B like boy, and Jelly Marketing, PB and Jelly Marketing.com. And if you or your company would like to be featured on this show, drop me a line, barsidejob.com. Send me a message. It's the place to go. So, you know, we are out of here. This is our uh, Thursday Stroker Show, and it's coming to an end. And we will see you guys next Thursday at 1 o'clock well, we right here. You. you do? Here you go. Oh, my God. Look, look at that. Own my official. own very own. Cherry look at that. Isn't this that is awesome? One of those Chinese imitations. No. This Thank you guys so much. Right. Oh, man. It's like linen. You it's, like, it's, like, <laughs> yes. it's like, wow. <laughs> That is badass. You Thank you guys so much. Now. Thank you so much. Thank you guys you are us. awesome. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> oh, that's freaking awesome. Okay, i got to put it on. Oh, so, bugs. we will see you guys. And I think you want to play us out? Sure. Okay. They're sure. going to play us out, and then I'm going to make my exit. But you guys, we will see you next Thursday at 1. Remember, on the 17th, we start a new show on Fridays at 1 at Mother Truckers. So, catch us there, too. And uh, Luis, Luis. Jarvis, Sherry, <laughs> just going to shout out a couple more, uh, Nancy, all Hi, you guys, Nancy. hey Nancy, yeah, Natalie, Natalie's Natalie. watching, I know Natalie, uh, <laughs> do you, Natalie, Andy? it's Jarvis again, Jarvis, Jarvis, Jarvis is, not. Jarvis is way up somewhere, another state, isn't he, I don't remember, yeah, yeah, I can't remember, anyway, we'll see you guys next Thursday. Cherry bomb. All right. Hey, uh, get the Teresa in here so she can photo bomb the T-shirt. Oh, okay. All right. So we're we're used to doing this with drums. I'm just gonna fake the drums. So. Okay. Pop 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 pop. pop. Dancing there by the record machine. I knew he must have been about 17. The beat is going strong. <laughs>
playing my favorite song And I could tell it wouldn't be long The hills with me Yeah, me And I could tell it wouldn't be long The hills with me Yeah, me Singing I love rock and roll Just put another time and then you rock, baby I love rock and roll Just come take your time and dance with me Ow! So I got up and asked her his name That's all Mary said Cause it's all the same Said let's take you home Where we can be alone Next we're moving on Here's with me Yeah me And next we're moving on Here's with me Yeah me Stand on love rock and roll Where we can be alone Next we're moving on Who's with me? Yeah, me We'll be moving on and singing that same old song Yeah, yeah with me Hey, everybody I love rock and roll It's put another time in the jukebox, baby I love rock and roll It's gonna take your time and dance with me I love rock and roll Yeah.